Hey, Internet, this is Nate, and welcome back once again to Backpack Hero. Uh, we're gonna start with Purse. We'll probably do one run with each character. Um, let's go ninja mode. Uh, we are on hard mode four, which, what's different here? Slightly less max health. Oh my gosh. Minus 20 that max health. Uh, even less items. Even less luck. Even more enemy health. Should be a should be wild times. Let's go. No fear. You just gotta believe. Let's go to the crypt. And here we actually might not might need to start using our uh, meal. We have 15 HP. That is nutty. Okay, so we cannot one shot you, but we're gonna definitely eat a meal. I think we go one, two, three, four. And we'll take uh, one damage here. I think we do a double block. Now the one nice thing is we will be leveling up here. We're gonna go one and double block. And we're just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient. Let him get his hits in. Oh my gosh, he is uh, slowly growing in damage. While we are not. Let's go one. Block, block. Once we can get him down to 21 health, then we'll be fine. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're gonna have to just full block here. That's uh, not ideal. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to use food and go nuts here. Just kill him. Woo! Okay, let's do the same. The classic. Um. What do you do? Remove status effects. Ooh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, we can toss you in there, get some base. Uh, we, we literally can take one item. We can take one item. Do we have a locked door? We do. We really just take a key and just roll with a key. Alternatively, we go with this hatchet, like, we take a hatchet, and we're just thrilled we can do 5 damage default per turn for a little bit. I honestly think that might be the play. Because enemies have so much HP right now, we need to be able to kill enemies. What do we got from you? Nothing up my sleeves? Oh my gosh, okay, here's some goodies. Uh, Conductive adds Rage. I think is the play. Let's see if I can use my magic. Hey, MJ. Welcome. Let's see if I can use my magic and grab this ring here. Oh, oh, oh. I think we got it. We got it. That's awesome. So now we can add uh, for free, or not for free, but at least at the beginning of uh, the round, we can stack up a bunch of rage and try to, try to get these guys. We gotta get this on you. Uh, each, I think rage adds two damage. Doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's more damage. <laughs> okay, we pop you. Now, how much are you doing? Six. Okay. The, it's the main character. It's the same as the uh, it's the it's the OG character. We're gonna do a block here. We should be able to kill this guy. We go one. I think we have to absorb one damage here to make sure that things don't get out of hand. I could reorg for a key. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be crazy here. I'm gonna reorg for a key. I actually think that's worth it. We're gonna full block here. Now we can smack him up. There we go. Down to 30. Double block, smack him up. Um, and I think... I think next turn we kill him. Because we can do 5, and then 21. Yeah. Got him. Leveled up. Great stuff. So let's continue. Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. I think. Let's go like this. Let's, uh, let's do it like this. The better shield. Oh, but wait a minute. This is a much better sword. Each turn this gets more damage. Uh, or we get the free shiv and we go all in on the rage. 
But I do like the idea... Okay, hold on. That's gotta be the Tilted Sword. So, we do it... Uh, hold on. Put you up here. We keep this other sword here. And we keep the shield. Even though this shield is better, we keep this shield. And we roll like this for now. Cool. Here we go, next fight. Okay, this is going to be tough. Nobody can deny the toughness. Um, we're just going to full block. And we're going to wait until this just stacks up damage while also using our hatchet. Try to get a couple hits in here or there. There we go. Hatchet plus one shot will kill him. Get him. Double block. And now we should be totally fine. Oh yeah, yeah. This was perfect. The Tilted Sword's great. Because it's a way to scale while being generally... Wait, what are you doing? 12 damage? Oh yeah, we're good. Uh, I'm honestly just like another hatchet, right? Just go all in on these hatchets for now. It's a little scary. It's a little sketch to go all in on hatchet, but, you know. Please don't grab it. Thank you. I would like that. Assassin's Blade's a little scary. Wait, what is this? For each space, the destroyed item occupy... So you just destroy an item... ...and do 15 damage. Is that, like, good? I, <laughs> I don't know if that's good. I'm gonna grab this. I mean, we'll take it. Right? Like, we'll take it. So this is this is fantastic. Adds an energy, then gets destroyed. Like, what if we... What if we use this... I guess 15 damage. Oh, it's a two slaughter, though. Uh... Oof. You know what? We get rid of you. And if we can, like, just get stuff we're willing to let go of, like, that's totally legit. Um, now the question is, do we open this chest of valuables, or do we wait and hope that we level up? Let's check out what we can get out of this, uh, upgrade here. Two block to armor. No, we don't have any armor right now. Uh, 40 gold is gonna be pretty tough. This is actually a pretty easy fight. We can go nuts here. Let's, uh, add some rage. Um, uh, we can get him. I don't think we need to use this, uh, extra energy right now. You give us five, you give us six. Even better. Excellent. So we level up. Let's continue to do a kind of wide setup here. On... Okay, so we could just, like, destroy that for nothing. We could also stack poison, which is kind of interesting. But I'm also like, just take this cup. <laughs> right? Use it to get the use it to get the health and then use the ballista on it. Is adjacent weapons getting poison? Is that better? Because we could get all three of these things. Like we could go boom, boom, boom. Put that in there. Like that. And suddenly... These guys are... We know we're stacking poison on things. I feel like that might be better. Plus, it's pretty decent to sell later if we have a shop. Definitely, I'm going to go for the max health here. We are at such low health. Let's see what we get out of this final... Oh, it's a fight. Okay. Get him. Get him. This does zero damage right now. One. Two. Block. Easy. Kill here. Got him. What do we get? Okay, so now we have to make an important choice. Are we going to go for... Armor? I think I might try to do... That's another hatchet, guys. Like, triple hatchet... 
Triple hatchets. Like, what if we just tried a hatchet build? It's it's pretty it's pretty risky. Pretty risky. But you know what? You never get anywhere by not taking risks. Let's go. Okay, so this guy's gonna hit us pretty hard. Let's get some rage going. And we're gonna do 18 damage. Now the question is, can we kill you? You're doing... Not quite enough. I think we just full block. Let him take the poison. And then we kill him next time. Get him, get him, get him. And... Two shots. Or double block. We do two shots, we take one damage. Not the end of the world. And then we just... Oh crap! I didn't... I didn't block the second time. Block twice, please. There we go. And... Ooh. Hold on, can we kill him with this? Oh, we're so dang close. But I guess it I guess we don't really want to do that. We we're we're doing kind of a Wait, how much this costs one? Let's continue to stack more mana. Creates an ethereal arrow doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, deals damage and gives rage. I think out of all this, honestly, the fish is probably just the best one. And I just want to sell. Uh, let's get to this so we can sell our ballista. Okay, so we want to block, theoretically, 8 damage, or... Yeah, we can just double block here. Oh, I didn't even use my thing. Let's use it next turn. Exact blocking. Now we go double rage. Get him. Block. And he's almost dead. I think I am going to use this fish. Get us back to full health and make some room. Uh, there's a key. I don't believe we can kill him here without using our Velvet Sword. And there's nothing to open with a key anyway. Uh, this is Vampirism. Yeah, this is sellable. Cool. So now, now we can take advantage of our stuff. Vampire Blade, get out of here. Ballista, get out of here. What do we got? Uh, spikes, shivs, daggers, luck ring. There's also like this conductive axe, but it costs gold to use. Or the chipped sword, but I think the tilted sword is just better. We could grab a shiv, because the nice thing about the shiv is that it takes advantage of the ring and it's zero cost. But let's see what we can get out of the other shop. I'm going to go do this fight first. Okay, this is a little bit on the scary side. Let's pump up our stats here. Now the question is, can we kill you with two hits? You're going to be doing 20 damage. I don't think so, so we're just going to full block. And then we should be able to kill this guy. With a single shot, that's correct. And then we full block. If we don't need to take damage, let's not take damage. Got it. And I think we can kill this guy now. One, two, three. And we've, we've got to kind of build. It's not like, it's not amazing right now. 
It certainly has potential. Uh, but we are gonna have to get some, like, pretty good stuff later on. Does it make sense to grab a dagger? I don't think so. I think our blade's just better than the dagger. Um, and let's continue to open up on this side now. Now, this is very interesting. It's energy plus mana. But it does hit everybody. Is that better than taking something like the mace? Which is sellable. I think we grab a mace here and we can always just sell it. What are you? I don't think we're gonna buy a fish. Don't get me wrong, like fish have their place in this world. It's just not what I'm looking for. Uh, let's go one, two, hit, and next turn we'll do the rage. I don't know why we didn't do it before. And I think we're, yeah, we're killing. Get wrecked. Okay, so we get two extra mana here. That's fantastic. We could also toss in, like if we move you here, Oh, that's just what we're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't get more because we can only pick one item. And I don't really think this one sapphire is worth it. This is basically the same as that one sapphire, but it affects every weapon. Okay. I think we're gonna sell the mace for 10. Uh, we can get another hatchet. It, what, if it's not broke. It's not broke, don't fix it, guys. That's the that's the current model or model yeah, motto that we're running with here. Give you big poison energy. And uh let's go for it. I don't think anything else here. Oh you know what? We could get the mirror shield. It's legendary. Um, um let's see what we can get from the um Smith. Add to burn. Or add a haste! Wait a minute, add a haste! Yeah, we're definitely gonna add a haste. This is now our shield. This is our shield, we're going with it. It's it's in for the long haul. I probably should have just bought the other shield and then upgraded, but it's whatever. We're keeping our crappy shield because it's gonna give us haste now. And haste is really good at extending our uh, armor gain. Okay, we got bees. We have four rage. I feel like this is a good time to use this. And just smack this guy for 12. Four times. Can we kill him? Seven. 14 So it's, it's 28 damage base and then can we do 30 with you? We absolutely can Get freaking wrecked Get out of here Amazing straight up energy. Oh my gosh plus five as long as they're not near a shield and We get into oh my gosh yeah, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna shift everything somehow. We're gonna put you there, put you there. Grab the bottle. 100 percent grab the bottle, grab some more mana. And suddenly these jerks are doing 10, 11, 10, like we're 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 there. Hello Marcelo, welcome. I think that's better than the one extra mana. This adds 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 damage. We're, we're getting there, guys. Let's grab a dice. Yeah, we're good with all this stuff. And then with the rage, like we now get five rage. So, 
Uh, it's an extra 25 damage on top. Like, we're gonna do it. Like, let's see how much damage we do. Let's just look at the, the damage numbers now. We can always dodge if needed, but 15, 15, 15, 16. You're doing 18 damage by 3. 54 damage is not quite enough. So we gotta go uh, block, block, and then we can go one hit, and then we will kill him before the poison affects us. Get wrecked. Um... Let's use this. I kind of feel like the meal might be good. Grab the meal. Easy. Safe. Let's get some more max HP. 25 HP. We're, we're rolling in the HPs these days. Uh, let's open up uh, a shop. Okay. I think... We kill this guy. I did- I completely forgot to use the, uh, Ring of Rage. One, two, three. We chill. Okay. Now we're good. Go one, two, three, four. Block, block, smack. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, get wrecked. On use destroy curses. That's oh my gosh, it's another freaking hatchet. We gotta get it. Do we get a hatchet and a shiv? This is insanity. We're gonna get rid of the meal. We can't get both. Oh, you know what? Actually, I feel like the dodge potion... You know, let's keep the dodge. We'll keep the dodge. But another hatchet. This is getting out of hand. Obviously, that one belt, like, in certain circumstances, is really strong. Adds mana and increases the damage of all adjacent and diagonal weapons. So we could get, like, the most insane starting turn of all time. If we wanted to. So we put it like here. Move this into the corner. Put everything around it. And we just generate massive hatchet value. And then we just block. Like we might not even need this sword anymore. If we do this. It's basically three extra damage per use. And if we can center it around all these hatchets, which I think we can. Okay, so what? Oh, we, have, we can't afford it yet. We have to find a way to get it. Let's sell you. And uh, we'll get some more money and then we'll come back. Okay, we gotta pump this full. And I think we can kill this guy. Oh yeah. 18. Wow, wow. Crazy. This build just got super nutty. We have a plus two. Don't have to ask me twice. I can also put the shield in the corner here. We have to be very careful about where we put the buckler. I guess we could always put the buckler up here and then switch everything around. We just can't let the buckler touch anything, because otherwise they uh, don't work. But yeah, that's an extra two damage we just got. Is there anything here that's worth getting or worth selling? Oh, we have a rare. We can sell this uh, flower here. Does that get us there? I'm really interested in this, because it just adds three damage to everything around it. So 
what we do is we put this here. This is con do conductive, right? Put you up in the top. Like so. Put you there. Put the warrior's spellbook here. Do something like that. And now this would affect everything around it with a plus two. And it would give us another rage. This has gotta be, this has gotta be the play. This is just a devastating build. Okay, uh, we're not gonna be able to level up, probably. But you never know, you could get something worthwhile here. No, we didn't really. I don't think this is better, no. Self damages. All right, let's just see how high our damage gets. So we do this first. Okay, so right now, we're doing 18 damage. We do this once. And then use. We're definitely killing this guy. So we just need a save. We just need a save. Um, oh my gosh. One shield, potentially. If we don't think we're going to kill. How much are these doing? 24 each? Yeah, we're not going to kill the other guy. We can do that. And block. And now we can kill him. Just use this max amount of times. Use this max amount of times. And now we're doing uh, 32 damage per hit. Wow. That's impressive. Nothing good here. We keep going. What do you got for me? A drop of red, drop of green? No. Uh, do we have enough? May we maybe have enough to upgrade a weapon? Um, nope, we don't. We keep going. This is a very glass cannon build, but it's like a hilarious. It's a very hilarious glass cannon build. I definitely believe in this build. Big believer in this particular build. Okay, this is where we're gonna put things to the test. So we gotta, we gotta, can we kill this guy? This is the question, can we kill this guy? So we're gonna do this no matter what. We're gonna pump this full of that. We're now doing 18 by five, that's 90. Every time we use that sequence, it does three. We need them to be doing 21 damage. So a single sequence of this plus this Gets us to 21 times 5, which is not enough. I'm insane. But I can do, I can use this. But we'll get there. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, he's not quite there. Oh, it's so close. But it's, it's 19 damage saved. Versus the alternative, so we'll we'll take five damage here for our our folly. Okay, we block twice. Use this once. Use this once, and smack them. We probably could have killed if we'd used it the full amount, but it's fine. Leveling up. That's great news. Let's just do all this over here. Move this. You kidding me? Just a straight up plus two. I don't believe I can get it to affect everything. I'm so borderline just like screw this tilted sword. I'm also like just grab a shiv and add it. I because like just more more hits is better. I think I'm just gonna grab the shiv. I think it's just an extra hit is just better for everybody. It's just better for everybody, guys. I do love the idea of getting this diamond, but 
I just don't think it's as good as a ship. That's what I'm wondering, is if we just toss the sword and just get another... Like, more free weapons and just always use the buckler or always use the warrior's spell shield. The green stone we have right now is a paradox. It doesn't really do much. We can get, we can yeet this. The problem is I can't carry two things. But we can sell it if we have a selling place. Okay. Bats are real jerks. Uh, but now we have this extra... This extra weapon here. So we can multiply whatever our damage is by six. I think we just go all in and kill him. Twenty-seven by six is definitely enough, and we can even hit this guy. Then we go all in again. Go all in again. Got him. Um, I think dice is probably the best thing out of this set. What do you got for me? The cards hold our future. Don't get the curse, please. So that's very interesting as well. Ooh. Okay, the gemstone would be really solid. I'm also like, no, we're just going to go for the gemstone here. Got it. Log. Okay, so we want to put the gemstone where it's going to get the most value. Uh, that would be over these three. Uh, I could potentially swap... Like... What if we go there? And like that, and then put it here. Now we get three of the daggers get improved by the emerald. Ah, oh, but then we don't connect these two. Oh, that's fine. We can just do this. Now it's all connected. A great circle of life. Yeah, we're in a we're in a pretty strong position here still. Just added six damage to our build. Um okay, this is interesting. This guy kind of counters us. We're just gonna block until his uh Spikes go away. Oh, on take damage, he removes his spikes. But what if we then... Hit him once. Hit him twice. Oh, we can just hit him all around. Okay, we'll kill him next turn. We're gonna use, we're gonna use this. I'm gonna block once, and then just kill him. Okay, we have another mana stone. I mean, we could def- we're not using the Tilted Sword. We can get rid of the Tilted Sword, for sure. And now, what I'm thinking is... If we shift all of this over... Oh, maybe not. Um, what if we do something like this? We put you here. The ring here. And just shift all of this up. Like so. Like that, and put these in here. Then, um, put that there, we can add this in. Now we get one more mana. Yeah, I mean, this the poison thing doesn't really matter. We can literally sell it and we're fine. Is it better than this? Nah, we just keep this for later. It's fine. Uh, Money-wise, we have 18. Let's do the last fight. Okay, so 
So let's fully utilize this. Uh, I do believe we can kill 18, 21, 21. So it's 21. Basically, this is 80 damage here. But we can definitely kill one of these guys. So let's just do this. Go three and just kill the backliner. And then hit this guy. Doesn't really matter. We we're gonna hit armor no matter what. Okay, 17. Uh, we should be able to kill this one. But we just need to block twice. Use this once. Use this once. And then... There he goes, and we do a hit. Nine. Okay, one gets us there. Use this twice, this twice, and punch him in the mouth. Awesome! Oh my gosh, it's another three. Oh, it's only adjacent though. We just keep adding more mana. And we have a key spot, we don't. I mean, I, this is just better. What do you do? For each space below, you get plus three on you, steal five. Yeah, it's not that great. If we just do this, put you here, just add three damage to this for no reason. We'll sell it later, but it's pretty good for now. That is a Keyblade, yeah. Okay, let's see what we can get from the um, crafter here. Add regen to a ring. What if we get slow? Not enough gold. Okay, let's just add regen. Let's just add uh, slow to this hatchet. That doesn't really matter. We can just start buffing things. All right, we're in the uh, second boss. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of block. We're gonna get seven, eight, nine, um, which is exact. And we can't hit. Because of the spikes. Now we can hit. One more. Got him. Okay. Full block. I think. Eleven. But you know what, let's do this. Let's keep ourselves relatively high damage. And we just absorb. Do this again. Now we're good, because we only take one damage per hit. And next turn we kill him. Yeah, it's way too much damage. Using it three times. Got him. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. What about Candle? Remove status effects from enemies. Now the only issue is going to be the hatchet. All weapons get plus one this combat on use, but you take two damage every turn. I think this is just better, the cleansing flame. Yes, it would remove our slow, but we could remove like spikes and we can remove rage and we can remove other things that are positive from enemies. We're just. Oh, wait, hold on. What if we use this? Reroll. For each adjacent gem. Or we spike it up. Let's spike it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go, we go a little defensive. 
we add in a little defense. Oh. Uh, I feel like this is better than this. Which is insane to think about, but I think it is. One extra rage will affect everything. This only affects one weapon. This is such a weird build, guys. <laughs> it's like the defensive offensive weird build. We don't we don't have a key. What can we buy? Another hatchet. We can fit another hatchet. But we can always come back and get it later. I think we will definitely get it. I've just got to think of when. We could get it now. Um, we could sell like one unstable mana to get a full extra hat, extra hatchet. So the way we would set this up is we'd go boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Extra hatchet. Here. There. Put you in the corner. Put you in the corner. Do that. Ring. Anna. It's too late. But you're probably right. We should have leveled up first. But it's fine. Everything's fine. We'll probably get more. Oh my gosh, what an insane setup here. Okay, so we're incentivized to kill this guy and the bomb. Um, I think we only need... I think we can kill both these guys. Let's just do one block. I feel like we should be fine here. Use it two times. Because now these are doing, I mean, 28 damage. 25 damage. We kill this guy. And we kill the bomb. Easiest fight of my life. You level us up. We're going to be one off. Uh, nothing particularly great here. I kind of like the idea of the Dueling Sword because it's a big, like, buff of damage all at once, but we still have room. And we're not going to make room. Part of me does wonder about grabbing a key here. But I think let's just level up. Okay. This guy's going to be the real jerk. So we got to make sure he dies, but we can go all in here because uh, we'll kill him and there's no reason to not just go all in. Okay, so 31, 31, 29, boom, boom. Hit. Hit. Now, don't get me wrong, 15 spikes is, like, very sketch. But also, we can just, like, let this guy kill himself. Just let him hurt himself to death. Oh, we can hit him in between. Oh, when his turn ends, he removes all the spikes. I gotta remember that. We could have been hitting him in between. But it doesn't matter. He killed himself. Okay. Um, we gotta continue making space around our ring. Let's just do this. Another one. You love to see it. Grab nothing else. And uh, we keep it moving. Let's get something rare to sell, though. Okay, so we, were, we will not be able to hit him. Uh, we should have enough damage to kill... 
how much, what's our base? 23, 23 plus 21 is not quite enough. I think we need to go one. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be able to kill all these guys. Is two enough? Oh, you know what? They could die to spikes, though. This is going to add another nine armor. Versus the extra damage. It's 24. They're going to be doing 26. We'll take two damage. Because I'm pretty sure we can still kill two of them. So then we go... Or we could throw this at everybody. And then we take zero damage. I'm going to do that. We're going to do a big hit. Um... One of these, one of these, one of these, and do this. Yeah. No damage is better. And then, not that it matters, but we can stack up all this and make sure this guy dies. Uh, we can get more shivs. Even if we can't fit it around the spell book, another shiv is another shiv. And it'll take advantage of all the rage. Might come back to that. What do you got for me? Nothing. So then let's get the extra HP. And get to the next fight. Key would be nice, but it's not super necessary. I think we can kill the front guy. And then we just double block. Okay. Perfect damage, and we smack this guy around a bit. Awesome. Uh, let's pump the damage. No, actually, we just don't just kill him. No reason to go nuts here. Another mana! That's great news. Um, I kind of like the warm drink here. Puts us back to full HP, and then we have a weapon to chuck at somebody. I can get behind that. So we do this. Now we stack this. Oh, we can't use it because it's next to the uh, thing. That's fine. Uh, we will be able to kill you. So we are going to need to get... I'm going to go all in. I think we still kill. Yeah, we'll get 100 out of the remaining damage. So we're good. So we just go all in and kill the backliner. Oh yeah, we actually even had a full extra hit. Go all in. And kill him. Got him. Gotta move like that. Um, we don't need another one. Another hatchet! <laughs> we just keep adding hatchets, guys. Every additional hit is money for us. In a manner of speaking. Like, it's always going to be worth it. It's always going to be worth it to just get more hatchets and more... Because every single one of them will take advantage of all the extra rage. This is hilarious. Hatchet pack hero. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Okay, so we dump all of our mana. Then I think we do a triple hit here. Just make sure we don't take any damage from that guy. Now we're gonna kill this guy, we're gonna have to take this hit. Um, now we can go one, two, use this, use this, and every hit will remove. Oh, we didn't actually take that. And I just used my weaker stuff, that was not worth it. 
fine. There you go. We can get down to 23. Okay. And then next turn we should be able to kill him. So, uh, each one of these does more damage. Yeah, he's dead. Excellent. Uh, there's the key we would maybe theoretically want, but I think we're good here. Uh, this is interesting, but it doesn't really make sense with our build. Hi, uh, Bago. Hi, Joffsy. Oh yeah, Joffsy. You're the one that gave us the good advice to level up and that I didn't take. <laughs> it's the good advice that I just didn't take. Um... I think there's not really a world where we get enough damage to kill two of these guys. Because even though we're doing 24, and we could, like, add 6, 9 to each of these... So if they were doing 31 each, or on average around 30... 30, 60, 90, 120, 150... We'd have to use uh, an unstable mana to kill two of them. So we're gonna do this. We're not blocking all the hits. We have to decide on a curse. I think we have to get rid of the curse. But this is this is scary. It's a lot of damage. 26, 30 damage right now. Too much math. We could toss this out. And there's a chance I could kill two of them. Or that one of them dies to the spikes. I think I'm gonna do that. And now we only have to do 120. Twenty-four. 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 Yeah, we're gonna have to take the damage. I don't think there's a way we get there. Even if we use this one, it's still not enough. Unfortunate. We're gonna take a little bit of damage here. Uh, but now we can kill them both. So, these two... Or just one of these, and then... I mean, we toss in a diamond for now. No reason not to toss in a diamond. Oh, wait. Diamonds are conductive. We can toss you here. And uh, it applies to all these. Okay. It's also sellable. Do not want a cleaver. Also, we don't have food. Okay. Um, we go all in. Oh, excuse me, use this one first. Because they're not hitting us at all. And then we kill this guy. 34. 1, 2, 32. Exact damage, you love to see it. Oh my gosh, we killed him. Okay. Uh, continue to create more space out this way. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't believe that the Jack Cleaver makes sense to add. But this is looking very spicy. That's four more rage we get. What do you got for me? Add three weapon to a damage. Or add regen to our ring. I don't hate that at all. Do we have any money left over? Not yet. Alright, what are our stats now? I think we should get pretty close to killing one of them. 29. We'd have to be, we'd have to be doing like 10 attacks. Oh, 
What if we do this again? That would add three to these, everything. Oh, we almost have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, we're good. So if we use this one time, that's going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21 plus another 9 damage. It's going to add 30 damage. That's going to be enough. Okay. Oh yeah, we were we were we had overkill there. We probably could have blocked one more time. Well, at least we now have some regen every turn. I kind of feel like just blocking and letting our regen heal us up. Just end the fight in full health. Ooh, we can do this. We're just stacking damage. It's really just to utilize our regen here. I like how we're just outscaling. He kills himself. Um, we can add money. I mean, this butterfly would be interesting if we could figure out how to fit it in. Do we have a shop? We have no shop to sell it. Uh, I guess we can take it anyway. We could also just take this uh, three free hits and not take the gold and the dragonfly, but I think we're good. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, I should have just done that. I should have just taken that extra hit. It's fine. The king. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the king. When a shield is used, adds rage. Each turn, add three regen. Now, we can't just absorb damage here. So we are going to have to block. However, our scaling is like... Not too bad. What do you do? It adds haste every time a weapon is used. Well, I mean, I guess it's fine. We accept it. He's going to make some dudes. Let's... Block as much as we can. And then hit him as much as we can. The haste is not really a big deal. Okay. Now we will kill these guys, so we just need to block his damage. I'm going to absorb one shot here. And then do that. Thirty-one, thirty-one, boom. One, two, three. One, two. We take three damage. We heal a little bit of it back. Again, we just need to block his damage. Pump our stats again. Not quite killing, so we'll use our cheapest or our least effective weapons. And uh, can we one-shot him now? I, I think, yeah, there's, there's no way we can't. He's dead. Doing way too much damage. Almost kill that guy too. Awesome, we did it! Hey Rona. Get wrecked. And we would have gotten some pretty big garbage. 
Sick. Give me that cheese. Ugh, hard mode four in the books. Crushed. That was a that was an interesting build. That was an interesting build. I really liked that one a lot. 